Hello all, Shoestring here. Today what we're going to do is another in the basic series, where we're going to talk about very basic things when it comes to off-grid solar. Very, very simple something a newcomer to solar has probably been interested and like to know. So what we're going to do today is talk about the two main types of off-grid inverters, which we have right here for you. Okay, both of these are relatively inexpensive. They're easy to use and easy to operate. First one we're going to talk about is this one from Walmart. It's a 400 watt, watt ever start. And what makes this different than the one next to it is this is a modified sine wave. Okay, what does modified sine wave mean? Modified sine wave means that it isn't the exact type of sine wave that comes into your house. It's modified from that. It doesn't work as well as this one here, which is a pure sine wave. So, what you need to know about modified sine waves is that they're, one, less expensive. That's really important. They're also less efficient. And they don't work well with all equipment. They work well with light bulbs, lamps, lighting, electrical heaters, simple tools, power tools, and older appliances. Now, I've run a lot of my household with just a modified sine wave for years. Those these work, and they do work well, but you have to remember they're not as efficient, especially when you're using things like motors. They don't do well with medical equipment such as oxygen machines or CPAP machines. And there are some items they just won't run at all. But most of the time, generally, they work well. The other type we want to talk about is here. This is a 500 watt, and it is a pure sine wave. Now, pure sine waves, right, they have a smooth wave that more closely resembles the power that come in, into your house from the electricity company. They're extremely close. So they work a lot more effectively. They are also much more expensive. Okay? They also do a lot less noise when you're running your equipment, which we're going to show you here in just a moment what I mean by that. Now, these are suitable for anything. They will run any of your devices. But they're most suitable for computers, sensitive electronic equipment, medical devices. And the modified sine wave might not work at all for some of those. So let's give you a quick example of that. First thing we're going to do is take our modified sine wave. We're going to go ahead and hook it to the battery. Right. Positive to positive, negative to negative. Just plug it in, turn our device on. When it comes on, this model here, by, by the way, has a little LED display that you can see. It says how many volts it has, 12.2 volts. And it's running, the fan. If Hopefully, if you can hear it, there is a small hum as it's running with this modified sine wave. And it does that because the sine wave coming out is not pure, right? So, you'll have a hum. I had a set of lights in my wife's studio that she said when the modified sine wave that was running at the time came on, it would flicker the lights. So, there are differences between a modified and a pure sine wave. So, now what we're going to do is turn that one off. And we're going to do the same thing with the pure sine wave. And hopefully you can hear the difference. Unplug that, plug it in here, turn it on. Very smooth, very efficient. If you can hear, well, you can't hear it because the hum is gone. And it will do that pure sine wave will have no hum, no noises in the background. Background, it will run very, very smoothly. 
So that's the two big types of inverters you're looking for in your off-grid system. You have a modified sine wave, which is good for most things, less expensive. Pure sine wave, which is good for everything, and it's going to be more expensive. So you'll need to look at what you're actually trying to power, and then pick which one is the most effective, efficient, and costly for you. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments, please. I don't get to all the questions. I get so many people put in, but I do try to get to as many as I can. Please, if you like videos like this, like and subscribe. It's subscribing is easy, and of course it helps the channel a lot. And share this if you know someone that may like it. Shoestring out.